Every psychiatrist should be able to do a, an effective consultation as part of the general psychiatry training. Consultation liaison psychiatry, on the other hand, is a subspecialty of depth and breadth, where we take the concepts of, of understanding of the medical culture, consultation, and liaison, and combine those into effective services provided to inpatient, outpatient, medical surgical units and clinics. Based on the input of a large majority of our members, we've been able to persuade the American Board of Medical Specialties to change the name of our field from psychosomatic medicine to consultation liaison psychiatry. This is important because it reflects the reality of what we've always called ourselves. We want an opportunity to define what we do. Um, and that's going to include the extent of where we practice, who we practice with, and our specialty. And so really defining our niche. CL psychiatry, in my opinion, has always been that part of psychiatry that's lived at the interface of medicine and psychiatry. That's always had the concept of psychiatric illness as medical illness, that there shouldn't be a separation there. The value of CL psychiatry is as medicine becomes increasingly specialized and uh, and the practice of each subspecialty within medicine and surgery becomes so specialized. We need psychiatrists who are poised to understand the intricacies of each of those areas, and CL psychiatrists can do that. Although every psychiatrist should have knowledge of the um, interactions between psychiatric illness and medical illness, uh, those psychiatrists that have a specialty at that interface of medicine and psychiatry are, are even more needed with our complex patients. We are the ones that people call when there's a question of whether or not a psychiatric illness or condition is affecting the course of treatment for someone on a medical or surgical unit or who may have medical or surgical comorbid conditions. We treat people, we don't just treat problems. It's pretty clear these days that we really need doctors who see the whole picture of patients. It's critical that we have mental health providers, and especially psychiatrists, who are working with our colleagues in primary care, cardiology, surgery, and all of the other medical specialties, because this is where patients predominantly present with psychiatric illness. Consultation liaison psychiatry has always lived in those areas. That's where we do our work. Our ability to impact patient care is going to be directly proportional to the relationship we have with whoever we're collaborating with, consulting with, liaising with. And so if, for example, the person that we are consulting with or liaising with trusts us, if we can give them information in a way that's absorbable, that they understand what we're telling them, and they feel more confident treating the patient or managing the patient after the conversation, we're going to be better able to help that patient that our medical colleague is directly providing patient care for. Our consultations and our recommendations have been shown to decrease the costs uh, for patient care, decrease lengths of stay, and decrease the overall morbidity that's associated with complex medical and surgical conditions when there's also uh, a component of a psychiatric disorder. We also have a unique opportunity to actually train and educate our medical colleagues on different psychopathologies and different um, treatment modalities when it comes to caring for patients and managing their psychiatric needs. Psychiatry needs specialists in CL because of the broad breadth and diversity of medical and surgical practice. So CL psychiatrists have specialized training to deal with each of the uh, syndromes and kinds of patients and problems that show up across the spectrum. We have the ability to be able to leverage us as psychiatrists as a limited resource because there will never be enough psychiatrists to see all the patients that need a psychiatrist. What we do is we build the capacity of our medical colleagues to be able to manage their own patients and that leverages us as a limited resource. So we can increase access to care because we can provide consultation on, for example, thousands of patients that we could never see ourselves because we can't provide that kind of direct care. I believe that the number of CL psychiatrists is going to continue to grow. Our academy has more than doubled in size in the past few years, and our members are working in more and more locations. We have demonstrated value in our services that we provide in terms of cost, quality, and patient and provider satisfaction. We have younger members expressing a lot of interest in our organization, and I believe the future is really bright. Mm -hmm.